Hi everyone, this is Lindsay with Pelican Athletic Club. I am putting together a quick short video to test out this new system that we're going to be bringing to you guys, bringing you some group fitness while we are kind of in these weird times right now. So bear with me because this is my first live stream video. I've done a bunch of work to try to get this just right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys for your first yoga video, a sun salutation A. It's something that we use in our yoga vinyasa practices. And I thought that it was a good warm up to get the system started. So starting at the top of your mats, I want you to take your feet about hips distance apart. You're gonna face forward shoulders over your hips. On an inhale, let your arms rise up high to the sky. Exhale, sweep the hands down the sides, forward fold, send the hips back. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step it back towards high plank. Let's break down our plank really quick. So, a good effective plank, our hands are spread wide like little starfish, our index fingers are pointing forward. We're going to plant our hands about shoulder distance apart, stacking those joints shoulder over elbow over wrist. Give that upper bicep kind of a little bit of an external rotation out. And then I want you to anchor through this outer part of your hands, creating a little suction cup with the middle part of your hands so that you have a good stable foundation. From here, I want you to step those legs back and then notice my shoulders. I'm gonna shrug them down. I don't want you here. I want you to pull those shoulder blades away and give yourself a nice, strong, stable foundation. Notice also that as I'm coming into this plank position that I am sending my hips up into alignment with my shoulders, I'm, my toes are roughly about shoulder distance apart. When you come it down into your chaturanga, we're gonna exhale, shift your weight forward. Notice my shoulders go out past my wrist so that as I lower my chest down, it forces a bend into my elbows and my elbows come in through around my rib cage. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flip the tops of the feet, press your heart up, pull your heart through right into your upward facing dog. So here, our thighs are lifted up off the mat, our hearts pressed for, pulled forward. If this is a bit much on your shoulders, just re go ahead, relax those thighs back onto the ground, take a little bend into your elbows, and practice Bhujangasana Cobra Pose instead. Maybe your cobra is even down here. That's okay. From here, we're going to press back, exhale, downward facing dog, your hips rise up towards the sky, both heels are pressing down into the ground, hips pressed high, hollow out your belly, press your chest back towards your thighs, maybe we even walk our dog out a little bit here, alternating heels down, getting a nice little stretch. So moving through our sun salutation A, Inhale, look up between your hands. Exhale, take a deep bend into your knees. Maybe this first one we walk towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, pelvis shifts back. Exhale, folding down towards the earth, hands on the ground. Inhale, sweep your arms up the sides, rising up, high mountain pose. For this high mountain, I want you to stack your shoulders over your hips, reach your hands up to the sky. Maybe there's a tiny tuck into your pelvis, pulling that belly button in towards your spine, rooting down through the feet. From here, on our exhale, we're gonna sweep those arms back down towards earth, sending those hips high again. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step it back towards that high plank. Full inhale here, holding that plank. On your exhale, shift your weight forward, drag your elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog, or maybe those thighs rest and you come into Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Exhale, turn the toes under, send the hips up, downward facing dog. Moving with your breath throughout this, we're gonna slowly bring it up one or two more times just to really reiterate it. This is our vinyasa we use in our vinyasa classes. On an inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, bend into the knees. Maybe you float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. 
exhale folding all the way to the ground inhale sweep your arms up high high mountain pose exhale slowly fold down back to the earth inhale halfway lift flat back exhale plant your hands step back high plank full breath in if this is a bit much for you remember we can drop our knees on the exhale bend those elbows in lower down maybe you come all the way to your belly and come into that cobra pose right here on your exhale press it back up downward facing dog take a few breaths here finding your body pressing those heels deep into the ground hearts pressing back on an inhale look up between the hands exhale bend into the knees walk or float to the top of your mat inhale halfway lift flat back exhale fold inhale rise high mountain pose exhale fold all the way back to earth inhale halfway lift and if you want to get fancy and you're doing that jump back jump back to chaturanga so the hands will come down we'll come down right to that chaturanga and then pull it through upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog thanks for joining me today yogis i hope that this little short informative video helped you out if there's any questions feel free to um reach out i'm here to educate and hopefully be part of your yoga practice Thank you for checking in and I'll see you guys soon.